hello viewers welcome back to my channel in this video we are asked to solve this very simple problem we said that the square root of 5x plus x is equal to 10. so how do we solve this let us demarcate by demarcate i'm going to have that that the square root of 5x plus x is equal to 0. now before we square both sides we need to take this one to the other side okay so we are going to have that that the square root of 5x Okay, is equal to what? 10 minus x. Now we can square both sides. Square both sides. Okay, so now to square both sides, I'm having the square root of 5x all squared is equal to 10 minus x all squared. Now, square automatically take care of square roots. So I'm having that here is just. 5x is equal to now this particular one now is the same thing as saying 10 sorry please don't forget i have a full video on any topic at all you need in math physics and chemistry just go straight to my playlist um if you come to my youtube you go to my playlist site you will see all the topics you are looking for in math physics and chemistry okay so now this 10 10 minus x all squared is the same thing as saying 10 minus x multiplied by another 10 minus x so if we clear this bracket we are going to have that 10 times 10 is 100 then 10 times minus x will give you minus 10 x minus x times 10 again will give you another minus 10 x minus x times minus x will give you first of all minus minus is plus and then x times x is what x squared so i'm having that this is 100 minus 20 x plus x squared okay now but instead of using this method to solve this it's easier you say just square the first one you have 100 multiply the first one and the second one double it you have minus if you multiply the first one and the second one, you have minus 10x double it you have minus 20x then you square the last one you have plus x squared you see that is exactly the same thing we got here so now let me bring this one over to this side and then equate it to zero so first of all i have x squared minus 20x now if this one is cross it's going to be another minus 5x then uh, plus 10 is already here so plus 100 is already here is equal to zero so what do we have we now have that x squared minus 25x okay plus 100 is equal to zero now uh, i don't know if this is factorizable but we can check let's check 100 100 to divide i'm going to have 50 and 2 divide i'm going to have 25 and then 5 divide i'm going to have 5 5 divide i'm going to have 1 now i'm looking for 25 is it possible 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 5 is 10 that is 20 is 25 possible mm, 4 okay 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 5 is 20 so this is 20 and 5 to give us 25 so since it's possible, I'm going to have that that x squared x squared minus uh, instead of writing 25x, I'm going to write it as minus 20x then minus 5x then bring down my plus 100 is equal to 0. So what is common between these two is x. So in bracket, I'm going to have x minus 20. Okay. Now what is common here is again is minus 5. Then I'm going to have the same x minus 20. Is equal to zero so finally i'm having that this is x minus 20 multiplied by x minus 5. now instead of if you don't want to do it this way since i got 20 and 5 look at another way we can use to do that let me show you another way we can use to do that now we have from this point from this point from this point i have that x squared minus 25 x plus 100 is equal to zero we can use this x method this x method has said share this one into two which is what x and x so that x times x will give us back x squared share this one into two such that if you add them you still get this one so which is what we have gotten as minus 20 and minus 5 then you check if it is correct now for us to check if it is correct we're going to do that x like this the cross multiply so x times minus 5 will give you minus 5x and then x minus 20 times s will give you minus 20 minus 20x. 20 
so if you add the two you're having minus 25x once you have what is in the middle here then you are done your answer is just these two people which is what x and what minus 20 and then these two people which is what x and minus 5 is equal to zero so any of the method of factorization you like will work out okay this is equal to zero so finally we are going to have that that x minus 20 is equal to zero or we have that x minus 5 is equal to zero so finally we are going to have that um, that our x is equal to 20 or we have that x is equal to 5 okay so let us check if this uh, value is correct let us check from our question our question said that the square root of 5x plus x is equal to 10 square root of 5x plus x is equal to 10 so square root of 5x then plus x is equal to 10 so when we take uh let me draw my line so i can solve in two places so if we take 20 you are going to have that the square root of 5 times 20 plus that same 20 that is when we say that x is equal to 20 so will it give us 10 let's check this time this will give you 2 times 5 is 10 that is 100 okay plus 20 ah are we getting 10 this is somehow so how did we get that we're supposed to get the same answer okay so this is um this is 10 plus 20 to give us 30 ah this is not working out well, well, but let us check when x is 5 so if we check when x is 5 check we're going to have that that uh, the square root of 5 times 5 okay plus x okay sorry plus 5 is it giving us 10 let's check 5 times 5 is 25 so the square root of 25 plus 5 is it 10 that is 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 okay so we're having finally that x is equal to what that x is equal to 10 sorry that 10 is equal to 10 so that means that the only solution to this problem is just x is equal to 5 wow so why did we have just one solution when we solved it and we got two solutions so tell us what the problem is if you know what the problem is because we got 20 and 5 and then when we checked 20 20 did not work out but when we checked 10 and when we checked 5 5 worked out okay so that is that so thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget i'm a mathematician and i have a full video on any topic at all you need in physics chemistry and mass okay just go to my playlist you will see them they are there them and then maths so may the peace of the lord be with you thank you for watching